What's going on everyone? We're back here today revisiting another deck that you might have seen me play on the channel before, which is Space Cat, as I dub it. Uh, so the basic idea is um, the synergy between Cat and Neospatians is that you can go into Dark Panther. Um, so we're playing a full like Convert Contact package with Dad Sork uh, just to get them live super fast. Plus it helps get Avarice live faster, which is really neat as well. Um, so it's just a really really cool kind of fast paced like i don't know almost like a chaos sort of deck um just featuring rescue cat stuff there's a lot of cool card choices that it enables you to play and uh, i think there's some very strong things this deck can do um it's really really good at getting dad online and stuff um so definitely definitely an interesting option definitely something i've been considering so we see i can do with some matches today so let's just jump in to that Okay, so here we are. We've got a game. Let's go with Rock. Rock served me well last time. All right, two for two with Rock in this little series. 42 card deck. Hmm. No one plays 40 anymore, apparently. Okay, we should draw for turn. I think just set the shoot set tomato seems all right to me. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to hold the dust shoot because I'm greedy. So I think I'm going to dust shoot on attack declaration here. Road might be some kind of like trap heavy quick draw deck. So on declaration we will dust shoot. Uh, let's take the Kai's. Definitely seems I was accurate in my assessment. that it is some kind of trap heavy quick draw deck. So they've got three back row. And then anyway, tomato's gonna go off. I kinda want, okay. It's a lot of back row that I can't really handle with monk. So I might just go like Armanite, send a uh, cross porter. And then get a dark panther. Could also go Grand Mall. Hmm. I might just get the Grand Mall. It makes contact live anyway, and it does like its own thing. So we need to keep in mind what the back row are. So that could be either D Prison Book or um, Bottles. So no matter what it is, I think just normal summoning Arabellum will force it. Question is, do I want to do that? And I think the answer is yes. So let's make them use the back row. Um, this makes me think it's probably D Prison or Book of Moon. We'll hit in with this. There it is, D Prison. I don't know if I want to set the judgment quite just yet. I'd rather just get value out of Trag. Or maybe just let my guy die and do a convert contact play. I don't know. It's interesting. Maybe I should have set the judgment just to answer whatever back row, potentially go for a greedier play if I could draw, like, something. But... Alright, so it's probably bottomless or book, but they could have drawn a new back row. Um, do I run another warrior in here besides Arma Porter? I'm actually not sure that I do. Uh, I don't want to risk, like, illegally activating Rota here. <laughs> hmm. It might just be attack and then set the judgment then. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, okay. So, they're just setting cards, I mean. And I'm just drawing more Cyber Dragons while they're setting cards. Uh, I don't want to commit the Grand Mold of the field, so I'm just going to keep hitting. Uh, I really, I'm going to be feeling dumb if I actually do play another row to target. 
I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't have Rota in here at all. It's just these two. Uh, yeah. They're declaring quick draw in hand because Edison rulings are dumb. Speaking of Edison rulings being dumb, uh, Crow's Nest Yu Gi Oh's YouTube channel should have posted like a rulings Jeopardy quiz that we did. Actually, I don't know if it'll be posted yet, but it should be being posted pretty soon. And I was in it, so definitely go check that out. Um, I need to think here whether I want to judgment the Drill Warrior. I feel like I might have to. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. There's a lot of things that could go wrong, but I feel like I just don't want the Drill Warrior loop happening. You know? They're setting a lot of back row. They probably have saw them. That, or they're just fucking with me. I mean... Okay. I say we summon the Grand... <sighs> Shoot. I really need it in hand for contact, though. Uh, that's awkward. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna set the Rota. I'm assuming these aren't all, like, five real back row. We know about Book of Moon Bottomless. So two of these guaranteed are Book of Moon Bottomless. Probably these ones. Right, because those were the ones that were set first, if I remember properly. So if I summon Grand Mole now, it's going to get booked. Or... Question is, am I okay with that? Hmm. It's really awkward. I could just go Dad and then like... Or I could go Tribute Cyber Dragon and summon Dad and pop their set monster. That's maybe not the worst idea. I mean, at, what's the, the worst that could happen is they, like, Judgment Dark Armed, right? And then Judgment's out of the way. <laughs> if not, we're going to Pryo pop the monster. Alright, we're going to Pryo pop the monster. It was bottomless. Okay, we get our little plus. Unfortunately for us, it was a dandelion, but that's not the biggest deal. Alright, so one of these is Book of Moon then, right? We're really hoping no, like, avarice off the top right now. Okay. Lucky us. I think I want to just contact right now. Maybe I should have um, not banished the Armonite just in case I could like Avarice it back and then Rota for it. That might have been a slight oversight. Draw one, draw two. So we find him as T. I might just go Cyber Dragon attack, try to force something. Set some cards, end our turn. They dust the bottom, so just fine. <laughs> Let's end phase space that in case it's dust shoot. Because Phoenix Wing. Alright, we can contact again. <clears throat> like they have judgment i think we <clears throat> we still know one of these is book of moon oops <laughs> oh man we should have sent this glow moss the first time actually <laughs> all right let's draw one draw two we find sangan monk i think we just want to want to dig some more plague so we could monk here either like Monk or Sangan. <clears throat> I think I want to get rid of Monk, actually. Uh, actually, I don't know. 
This is a hard one. I really want to keep the mind control, I think, though. So I think I get rid of Monk. Maybe I should play more aggressively here, but, like, we know one of these is Book. Probably one is Judgment or Starlight. It would suck if he drew Caius right now. Oh, that, also, that sucks even more, actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, well, it was only a matter of time. Maybe I should have forced the book with an Arcanite play or something. Okay, we get lucky. All right, I really hope that's a Raikou, because I am taking it. All right, we do finally get dust shooted, but it doesn't... Whoops. Actually, I kind of just want to draw our avarice. Maybe they'll shuffle back the plague, and I can send it with... Uh... Hmm. This is tough. I feel like I probably will go for the mind control either way. Then the question is, which back row do we hit? I think these two were set at the same time. Okay, so it's Solemn Judgment, so it's Raikou. That's fine. We know it's Raikou now. We can just attack this. And end our turn. There's nothing on our field that we care about getting Raikou'd, because this card's just dead. Okay, it's just Hamster. <laughs> Honestly, they shouldn't have judgmented just to protect a hamster there. I wouldn't have gotten much value out of it. It'd still be kind of annoying if they topped Caius here. Maybe. But they didn't. Alright, now it's a question, what do we get? Um... So the set card is for sure the back row is Book of Moon. I'm gonna say I think it's just Cat, and then hope to God we don't top deck one of the remaining targets. <laughs> just Avarice one time, okay. So if we brain, they're just gonna book it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I do think we have to go for the cat play. So go you, go you. Then I think... Can I Brio here? Should I Brio here? So, of course, if I Brio, bounce the Raikou, attack. This doesn't necessarily force them to Book of Moon me. So I think I'll do it that way. Uh, I need to think. I think the Tragodia is the one we should get rid of, maybe. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's get rid of the Tragodia. So they might just, like, actually, I think they'll just book the hamster, in which case I should just go for game and make them book. And then, of course, so they have hamster Raikou in hand. They can't Caius off the top. Debris Dragon's, like, their best draw, I think. That's about it. Okay, that's a pretty good one, too. Hmm. We can out the Titanial with Brain Control. We really need to find an Avarice, though. We're down to 12 cards in our deck, and we haven't seen one, which sucks. Okay, I'm not sure why there's summoning Quick Draw here. Oh, they're not. Well, they've revealed a card in their hand. We'll let them take it back, so... That is not Pot of Avarice. 
That is one of the deadest cards, I think, left in our deck. Unfortunately. They can't game us with their hand, but they can do a lot of damage. Can they game us with that? I don't think so. Although they can be really annoying with that, so... We just have to draw Avarice next turn, basically. I think... I mean, maybe Sork could deal with the... I don't know. If they go Drill, though, Sork doesn't deal with that. It's, just, it's probably just gotta be Avarice. Okay, they're not going... Now Sork doesn't deal with it at all. But it wasn't going to deal with Drill anyway. That's not Pot of Avarice. That's a Bottomless Trap Hole. A little bit too late. Alright, rough game. We had some tough breaks. I mean... Did not ever see Avarice. That's rough. But... Oh well. Uh, I think just siding these should be good, right? Keep the Spell Trap Hate... I don't know. What, what should we cut? I've decided I think Rhoda's a bad card, so let's cut that. Then, like... I don't even... Should we be on, like, Foolish Barrier? Uh, I guess it's pretty good with these two. Okay, we'll keep Foolish. Um, Maybe, like, the Battle Recruiters aren't that good. And then... Oh, you know what? Brain Control is really bad. And so is Trigodia. And then, like, we can cut one Tomato. Okay, that looks good. Looks pretty good to me. Alright. We have Dust Shoot and Opening Hand again. I think just... Is it Set Porter? It might just be Set Tomato, try to get Monk or something if they do it. <laughs> the Dust Shoot opening feels really dirty here. Mm. Well, we're going to go for it and hope it's not Hamster. Alright, it was Hamster. Hmm. In that case, let's just hit with Tomato, probably. If it's mirror, they have to mirror both, but it's not. I might set the porter. Just to be sure, you know. And of course we will dust shoot them and draw phase. <laughs> they apparently don't believe in the main or standby phase, but oh well. Oh, there's a dark world monster in here. Uh, Gold's probably a side deck card. I might want to hit it just to avoid, like... Well, it's a lot worse since I know about it. Let's just give it a quick draw. Let's just not, like, hand loop them ever this game since they have gold in hand. So we're going to get our search... I think again, I still want to go for this guy. Because he just threatens a lot. Alright, so we pretty much know that there's a road down there. Or a solemn. So we're going to hit into it. Because we can uh, nobleman the Raiko. That'll be really good. Unless they have solemn judgment, maybe. Maybe I should have. Uh, no. I don't want to play in the Mirror Force. I was thinking about summoning Mole, but let's just Nobleman the, the guy. We'll find out here if it's Solemn or if it's Starlight Road. Alright, this pretty much confirms that it's Starlight Road. Next turn, I think I will go for the mole and just play into Mirror Force. I may, I can just... Yeah, I think so. I don't even know. It's like, do we want to be giving them this back in their dead hand? They might just let mole through the first time and then stop at the second time. We, we don't really want that. Uh, a second DD Crow? We only sided two of these, man. It's a yikes. 
Well, I think the play is to attack the monster. And it's a dead card. Hmm. We're going to have difficulty getting over these, though. That's a wave. We could just wait to draw Airbellum and try to black burst them. I'm down for that plan. This is rough. We don't want to get rid of any of our cards here. We could just try summoning Grand Mole. Give up on the Convert Contact Dream. I don't know. It's the only way I can see to like force anything. Alright, we did not manage to force anything. I really don't want to commit cards to the field here. Let's just banish the Book of Moon with Crow. <laughs> so I don't have to... discard at the end of my turn and feel the pain of disgrace. Can I just draw like that? Thank you. Alright, we're gonna go for the wave. Wave Black Rose. That's going to be pretty good. Here we're going to contact. Get a Light Engrave for Sork, of course. Um, I'm not wild about hitting with Sork here. Oh, wait. I waved this turn. I don't know how I forgot about that. I don't know that that was insanely stupid that I that that, that uh, <laughs> I'm ashamed. Anyway, do I risk not drawing a spell here? We know they have gold in hand anyway. Like we don't even, we don't want to hand loop them unless it's with like Urbellum. Hmm, that's maybe something to consider. All right. Anyway, let's get the light engrave. Of course. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. My god. Two panthers? I oh my That's bad. I don't want to sork attack directly. Yeah, I don't. I'm just gonna wait. Pretty pathetic hand that I have here. <laughs> so many cards, so little to do with them. Here's where I'm wishing I had held on to this second crow somehow. I'm probably going to have to, like, crow a debris dragon here or something. Yeah. Unfortunate, but I had to do it. So they're just going to go iron chain, hit into gores. This will, of course, probably mill every avarice in my deck, as you know. Well, there's one of them. God, I knew that would happen. I have yet to draw Avarice, by the way. Okay, they, they concede to Gores. Um, I think this deck's set heavy enough that I might want to take out the Trap Dust Shoot. Put in some Dust Tornadoes, maybe. Hmm, what do we go? Dust Tornado. This Tomato was... Tomato's just been so bad. Uh, let's just go with this. We also know they're on golds now, which is a little bit concerning. Hmm. We will resolve an avarice one time. I swear. I swear it. Okay, nobleman's sweet. Cat with 
the cat targets and hands a little less sweet, but it's not the it's not the worst. I mean, we can do something with these monsters, right? We can do something. All right. Well, I mean, you're getting knocked, buddy. Eh. Hate to be that way, but oh, we hit the Raikou again. Oh, we're just sacking this poor guy. I feel kind of bad. All right, we're gonna hit the gold though. I can feel it. Maybe there's a Gores. Maybe that's why he didn't set anything. Maybe I was stupid. They must have Gores. I, I should have thought about that. There's no way they're not just setting everything. Maybe they have Storm, I guess. Are they... Okay, they're not responding to Airbelm. So that means they don't have Gores. Very interesting. We hit the Foolish Burial, not the worst. So next turn, we might have like a Judgment Cat play. Could be really good. Yeah. Oh, this is going to feel dirty. I guess the one caveat is what if they have like gold? And we get golded. <laughs> that could feel rough. Uh, whoops. Wrong, wrong air bell. <laughs> Use the one we got just now. I guess we could make... Is gold, like, mandatory? Can we make Stardust? And play around it? That seems like maybe not the worst idea. So I think I'll do it. Okay, they're gonna crow the plague. Well... I think we just gotta go for it. Um, I think I'm cool with that. I'd rather preserve the Solemn than get to rip some random ass card out of their hand, right? So now it's just a question of is Brio Bounce for game going to be a possibility? And it might actually be. Especially because this is like a slower quick draw build and a more set heavy one than the regular quick draw build. Oh no. Uh, let's get rid of the Gores. They must have just top decked that, man. That sucks. Hopefully they try to, like, chiasm me here. Okay, nope. Well, that's rough. That is very rough. That's a card. If they flip Raikou, I just have... To oh, wait, it's they it can't have Raikou, actually. <laughs> uh, Crow's not bad. So we are going to have to Torrential the Titanial, and if they have, like, a Starlight, we're going to have to Judgment. If they have Judgment on top of Starlight, we do lose the duel. <laughs> so. Okay, but fortunately for us, they do not. It was a Night Assailant, actually. Damn, the Night Assailant is rough when all of your Raikos are banished. Monk? I might set it here. I guess that gets punished really hard by Card Trooper, though. I'm just gonna hold it. And we don't have Cat in deck. And maybe I should have set it just in case I draw, like, an Urbellum or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, buddy. Um, let's banish the Titanium. Come on, give me an Avarice. I haven't resolved one yet. I want an Avarice. Uh, does this do anything? Is there a Porter in my deck? I think there... Maybe there's a level 4 I would rather summon. With Monk? Could go like Armanite. I don't even know. I think the play might just be to chill. 
Hope they go like dandy quick draw, try to make Drill Warrior or something, and then we get bottomless. They're really summoning Pampster and attack. I guess it doesn't do anything in defense, uh, so yeah. Um, cat, air, okay, they're just letting us do it. Two, three, four, five. That was a really, really, really good draw. And we finally got our wish. We finally got to resolve the Pot of Avarice. So we will pitch the Foolish here. They're typing something. God, that Avarice top deck was so clutch for me. Does he get Pryo? No. And honestly, you should just insta-flip Book of Moon here if you have it. Okay, he's gonna book it. Oh no, he's wing blasting it. All right, all that does is delay the inevitable. Are right, you pitching the gores that we know he has? Let's set another bottomless. So, if he has like heavier wave, he could maybe kill me here. If he has like uh, some gas, but I don't think he has gas because like I've, he'd have done something last turn, right? Surely, right? <laughs> Just hitting me for eleven. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go for the same monk play. Um, yeah. One thing that's kind of rough... Maybe I should just get rid of this mind control, actually, instead of the... I'm not negating the summon. I will, in fact, do this, though. <laughs> that, unfortunately... I think getting rid of Minecon because the Rikos are gone. All right, so I'm getting booked. But now his hand is... God knows... Worst thing he could have is, like, a Debris Dragon, I guess. He might Debris Dragon try to go for game, in which case I could bottom with him. No, he's just scooping. All right. Got kind of lucky there. He ended up with a Bricked Hand. We, we, we giga-sacked this match, let's be clear. I mean, I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad. The Avarice was, was crazy. We drew the side deck cards when we needed them. We opened Dust Shoot two games. It felt unfair. It did feel unfair, honestly. But this deck can't do some unfair things. Cat decks are kind of inherently sacky in that way. Um, yeah. I mean, I enjoy the Neospatian package. I like having it. I like getting, like, the, the speed to have the graves set up for the big guys and the avarice fuel and all that. So I think there's some neat synergies in here as well. And having Dark Panther is so much better than having Raikou and going, like, for a level 5. Level 6 synchro plays are just so much better. So... Yeah, that's my take on the cat deck. I think it's an interesting one. Might give it a try at Ribbit. Who knows? That's what this week's about. This week's about deciding. So uh, give it a thought. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.